Welcome everyone in this video. In this video, we will learn how to create user defined function and how we use it in SQL queries. We will discuss everything with examples. So stay tuned in this video and let's start. First of all, we will understand what is user defined function. So it is basically a named TSQL block which encapsulates the complex business logic in its definition. As we know, we have already inbuilt functions in SQL Server for calculations like sum, count, average and many other functions. But we can also create our own functions which is called user defined functions. So when we write a T-SQL block and give a name to this, uh, to this block, it becomes a user defined function. The purpose of user defined function is the reusability of it. It means if we implement any business logic in user defined function, then we can refer it again and again in our SQL statements. We have basically two, two types of user defined function. One is a scalar function and second is tabular function. So scalar functions are the functions which can take one or more inputs but return always one value. Similarly, tabular function also can take one or more inputs but it return table as a value. You also can see in, uh, in one liner definition as I have written. Now if we see the syntax of functions, so both have the same syntax. It start with create function, then function name along with schema name. Then we pass parameter list and after this we mention that what type of value that function will be returning. So in a scalar function we define the data types like integer, string, date. But in tabular function we always return a table. Okay, so here you can see in returns we have table data types. Then we write begin and end block. Within this we implement our business logic. Then finally we return the value of this data type which we have mentioned earlier in the return statement. And in table valued function we return select statement. As we have mentioned the returns is table. Now let's move to the SQL Server Management Studio and there we will see some practical examples. So I will consider employee table for our examples. So let me show this table first. It is a simple table of employees detail with ID, first name, last name, birth date, the marital status where M stands for married and S stands for single. Then the income of the employees and the educations. But before this I will show you a very simple function which does not take any table value as an input. It is a quite simple function. So in the definition we can see create function then function name and here I am taking a single value where of data type integer and also it, it will return an integer value and in begin and end definition I am simply adding 100 to the given input. Let me just execute this a function is created and if I call this function let's say some value 1000. So I am calling this function value and passing 1000 as a parameter. So you will see it will add 100 to this parameter and return me 1100. So this is a simple function example. Now let's see how we can take a column value in the function and can manipulate with it. So this is again a simple function. This time the name is fund2 and I am taking two inputs both are integer data type and in the definition what I am doing that I am making the percentage with the second data value and adding it with first parameter value. Okay. So column name is my first parameter and percent is my second parameter. So whatever the number will be providing in this percent, I'll calculate the percentage of it and will add it with the column name. Let's create this function. Sorry, uh, by mistake, I have written alter. It should be create. So alter statement is for alteration of existing function. So first we will create this function. Function is created. And if I use this function with the employee table again and I'm providing in two inputs first is income column and then 10 as a value so let's say I want to calculate 10% of employee table so run this and you can see a new column and it is adding 10% of the income in every employee record Now the function is created if I want to alter the definition of the function then the statement is very simple I'll go back and this time instead of create I will write alter I can also write create and alter both it means if fund2 does not exist then create it or if it exists then alter the function 
this time let's say i don't want to add the 10 percentage but want to subtract the 10 percent from the value then i will add minus and execute it again and this time again if i query this then this time it will minus 10 percent from the income column because income is my first parameter and 10 is second parameter so 10 percent will be subtracted from the income value so this is a very simple example of function and whatever the function we are creating here you can see in the database also in a GUI mode here we have folder structure in programmability there is function and if I refresh this you can see table valued function and scalar scalar valued function so in table valued function I have yet not created anything but in scalar valued function I have created fun and fun too okay you can also see the parameter list so in my first function I have single parameter in my second function I have two parameters and if I want to see the definition of the function simply right click script function as and then create to it will open a new query window and there I can see the definition of my function so this is the def function definition we also have inbuilt stored procedure using which we can see the definition of the function and this is sp underscore help text and then function name with schema name so if I run this it will show me the definition of my function this is all about scalar function now let's see how to create table valued function so this is the simple definition of table valued function uh, first I will explain what I am trying to do into this function and then we'll see how we, we have created this so in this function I am selecting employee table for certain values where the date of birth year value should be as per the parameter so statement is very simple create function then function name and my function name is employee date of birth employee DOB then I am passing one integer value and the name of this parameter is year then this time I am returning table so this function will always return a table as a value I'm not mentioning begin and end statement but but directly I am returning the employee table where the date of birth in where clause should be as per the parameter year execute this statement the function has created and now if I call this function and let's say I want to see only employees where date of birth is 1976 execute this and you can see this time I have only four rows out of hundred where their date of birth year is 1976 so this is a simple example now let's see one more example of the table valued function where this function will create a table variable and will use this table variable in the return statement so this time I am writing create or alter function and the function name is employee dob underscore one and I'm not passing any parameter this time simply in returns I say a table variable where the data type is table and this table variable has two columns name and salary then in begin and end statement I'm inserting the first name and income minus hundred from employee table this will be returned as an output finally if you want to understand the table value in much detail I have already created a video the link you can get into the description and here at the top right side of this video also I have explained everything with examples that how to create table variable what are their limitations what are their benefits and everything okay so here I have created table variable with table data type two columns and inserting values from employee table into this table variable and this table variable will be returned if I execute this the function is created and if I call this function this time it will return me name and salary minus 100 so this is another example of table valued function you would have noticed that the table value function I am using after from keyword but the scalar value function is always used before from here you can see this fun2 function which is a scalar function I am using before from keyword so this is also one difference between scalar function and table value function so here we have a simple command drop function and then function name run this command and the function has been dropped 
we can also draw a function from directly from here also delete okay if i refresh this so now there is no function available in table valued function now let's see some key points about user defined function in sql server so key points are function cannot update data in table so within a functions either it is a scalar or tabular function we cannot write update statement this is not allowed we can use table values in user defined function so as we have seen that we can create a table variable and can use it in return statement also so table variable can be created in functions we cannot refer invalid object in the function it means if we refer a table which does not exist within a function it will fail so this is all about functions in sql server that how we use it i hope you will like this video if this is so please press the like button and subscribe my channel and if not then let me know in the comment that what should i improve here so i'll come soon with new interesting and learning videos till then take care stay blessed thank you